I'm Mike. I'm Kat. I'm Jay. E3! 2013. Boy, was I wrong. Sony stole the show. They killed Microsoft. They just bent Microsoft over it. Mm. There is no Microsoft out there. <laughs> I can't believe the price. The price is incredible. Hundred dollars cheaper. PS4 is three ninety nine, and Xbox One is four ninety nine. As always, guys, we're going to be accepting video responses. So let us know what you thought of E3. We'll let them all pass below. So if you want to check those out, they're all down there. Let's see some videos, boys and ladies. Uh, ooh yeah, is going strong across the street. Ooh. What was the craziest to me was at the end they just annihilated everything that Xbox said by saying that you can. They're going to. <laughs> They said games can work! <laughs> What's incredible is you can play used games on the PS4, but on the Xbox One, we still don't really know. It's okay. up to the publishers. Also, also on PlayStation, they said you don't need to check into the internet. Like, they s basically quoted what Microsoft said that they were going to have to do, so basically yeah. anyone who doesn't have internet is screwed. And, and like, oh my Disc god. Disc-based <laughs> games, where I can still play my game in 15 years. PlayStation Plus announcement that they're giving away Drive Club. Free. It seems that they're showing Sony showing a lot more support to the indie developer, more so than Microsoft. Yeah, so developers all, what do you mean? all Microsoft the players love them. Minecraft. It, they did everything right. I, the I only thing I didn't like was that lull in the middle. Where they yeah, talk about like, music and movies. And I kind of felt like they had to do that because... Yeah. That's the one thing that we were right about. Yeah, of course. The they're one do thing. The same thing I still can't believe the whole used game thing. I, Microsoft really has to go back to the drawing board and rethink this used game thing. If they don't fix it, yeah. By the time we start reviewing, I don't even want to get an Xbox Ooh. for the show. I'm getting one regardless, but yeah, I'm. Wait, Titan, why? Titan Tell me why though. Because there's some exclusives that I'm really. Interested. So you're gonna buy a whole system for a game, two games. I I would have this show, right? That's why I'm buying it. It makes sense. If, no, I, did, if I wasn't on 3K... I'm going to say something nuts. Okay, okay. I don't care uh, that I do a review show. They went so wrong at E3. Everything went so wrong for Microsoft. They, well, it looked really good because they showed the awesome games like they were supposed to, but then they didn't. Then they announced the price. And then compared to Sony's price, that's what really made it look bad. Line. Because line. before we watched Sony's press co conference, we were like, hey, this is okay. Microsoft this is pretty good. seems I'm gonna okay. I'm going to talk about this and this. You know, I had a strict budget for like $500 for my gaming console. Totally. PS4. No, there's nobody. no question. There's no, but there's nobody else. Unless no, they're no, no. mentally there, there are handicapped. Microsoft fanboys that are no, still even the, think it's fine. No. However, I found that the graphics in a lot of the PlayStation 4 games looked better than Xbox One, which I found strange. They seemed more fluid and whatnot. So tell me the games they showed us and tell me why those three games are even like, they even like Titanfall. Poking. That looks okay. crazy. You were I'll super them, excited about that I'll all give them day. Titanfall. That was your yes. favorite thing. Titanfall looks amazing. So cool. But is it 800? Is it... And then you also get to be a little dude. Yeah, but is it, is it cost the whole system? Quantum Break. Which Rise. nobody really knows anything about. Rise, which in my opinion is their answer to God of War. Yeah, which doesn't look as good as the looks original. Looks okay, God of but God of War is still better. Forza 5. Okay, it's it's good. Yeah, Gran Turismo 6 looks so good on the PS3. So oh, look, I got two here. You got anything else? But that's just what's announced so far. I'm sure they're, they're going to have to pull a bunch of stuff out of their ass I mean, in order to recover from this or else, yeah. You don't own your games. When the, when the servers go down, they're gone. The disc that you bought is worthless. The game is gone. Everything else was all Sony from th that point on. So everything he just mentioned, like we're, we're not even bringing up Halo because we don't even care anymore. Like Master Chief showed up in the desert and a giant robot. He looked like Journey. I have hope for it. Titanfall does look amazing. Spark looks really cool. It's a really cool concept, especially if you like designing games. I'm not really sure how it will actually play out, though. Yeah, that the voice can... commands and stuff. Well, another thing that I think a lot of people will probably be excited about, especially if they're big zombie fans, is Dead Rising 3. Mm. I know a lot of people like that franchise in general, and this looks like it's definitely taken Dead Rising 2 and taken it to step up. It looks huge. Yeah, I didn't like Dead Rising 1 and 2, but this one seems really interesting. It's like where I wanted Resident Evil to go. The last game that was shown at Xbox's conference was the division mm, I was there. and that game there's something about that game we finally got to see gameplay footage of destiny uh cool but i wasn't overwhelmed or anything i wasn't completely the amazed light effects were pretty light effects cool it's cool <laughs> watching people like fly in and pop into games yeah. that was but awesome was, it, it was defiance but well done i'm really excited for what which i didn't expect was mirror's edge 2 
Well, because the game had this really cool idea to it, and if they just refine it and tone it a bit, mm -hmm. it could be amazing. For Watch Dogs, it's gonna be on both. And that, I love the gameplay. Getting to see more of that gameplay and seeing how you go into the cameras. Hacking and smacking. Hacking into the cameras, and then you're in an apartment, it's and amazing. you help that guy out. It looked great. I want to play that game so badly. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm in... I've got a, I've got a cameo yeah. in the Watch Dogs teaser trailer. You that sell was women in the, on the black market. Um, Knew it. Now, a question that I did have was be, the Beyond. Remember Ellen Page? Oh, yes, yeah, so this is the big conundrum I can't figure out. Wasn't Beyond it, Two Souls. Wasn't she like all like no, having you superpowers know what it is. or something? And in this, it just seems like Ellen Page is playing some badass, I don't know. It's supposed to be like paranormal and like the shit Look, ghosts Ellen that Page, I told you. Unless she has superpowers, what? cannot pull off that she's some commando. I, I wish they didn't change it. No, it's shit. I don't It's just know like what it is. all the other games now. Because Beyond Two Souls, the first trailers, it seemed really special. It seemed like, wow, this is unique and. Oh, it's not heavy rain, but it's something else, and it's very cool, supernatural ghosts, woo! And now it's like fucking Uncharted with Ellen Page, which makes no sense. Zero sense. Yeah, it would look like I was watching The Hurt Locker, and I was like, why do you look at me? Well, that's the name of your bedroom. The only smart glass technology I would use was with Battlefield 4. The commander mode looks awesome. So finally you have somebody that's like above you telling you like, okay, move up here with your team, move up here. What do you think of uh, Call of Duty Ghosts? Because that was pre-E3. Well, I know that, the doggy. I know now that fish move out of the way when you get close. But to what's them. funny is the dog doesn't. Elder Scrolls Online. Amazing. I can't believe PS4 is going to have it. We can play it together. So I don't be, have to worry about So far we know it's going to be on the PC, Mac, and PS4. I love it. I love it. I can't think about it too much or else it'll ruin my life. Overall, I'm really excited for a handful of games. They really showcased the gameplay in a few games really, really well, and they also made some beautiful trailers. They got me really excited for games I never thought I would possibly be excited for. I think what we learned today is that Sony cares about gaming, mm. Xbox cares about entertainment. What do you think about Twitch? Now that what's gonna happen to YouTube? I think YouTube's gonna be flooded with gameplay footage now because oh of God, that so Twitch shot. Well, well, let's just say it now. I, I feel bad for the people who do commentary. As soon as this comes out, it's gonna be like 5,000 videos every minute. My overall is I was wrong about Microsoft. I thought Sony would, would do the used game thing. So Xbox completely blew it. I thought they would just not... I don't even know what to say here. This is ridiculous. Microsoft has lost their goddamn minds, and, and I'm done. Like, I don't even need to talk about that. Sony did everything they needed to do. Sony obliterated Microsoft here. If I worked at Microsoft, I'd be extremely embarrassed right now. Guys, what are you guys most excited for? What game excited you most? What feature excited you most? Do you care that the price is so different and that all these features are seem so slanted towards Sony? Are you guys still gonna buy both systems if you're someone who usually buys both systems? Comment below, we wanna know. We are curious on your thoughts on E3. Ooh yeah, gamer's choice.